which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Appreciate you. Go ahead and sit back down. All right, do I have a, an approval to accept the agenda as written? I'll make the motion. Okay. Laura, a second. Thanks, Shanae. All right, and all in favor? All righty. All right, uh, well, that moves us and brings us to the financial report. And mm -hmm. Dr. Brooks is going to give that this evening. So, Dr. Brooks, you're up. Um, uh, our financial director has submitted the information that's in your packet. Yeah. Um, our general fund um, at the end of January is $4.6 in our fund balance okay. um, as we plan for our next school year. We have completed 58.3% of the school year and we are at 57% of our expenditures and we have re received 55% in our revenue. Okay. So again, that's looking great. We are not um, spending as much as far as we are long in the school year, but we haven't received as much either. Um, unfortunately, our January East Blast is another month that we have seen a decline. Um, we had $62,000 in East Blast for the month of January. And um, as you notice, we've had a decline every month since August. So we do hope that with the new Perry Brothers um, gas and go and the truck stop coming uh, at the end of the month that we will see some um, increases in that and just as a reminder splost funds our technology our building upgrades and anything with maintenance and operation um, all of our impact aid has been completed and submitted and we hope to be able to start receiving those funds as soon as the federal government releases them that's usually um, between april and may okay all any right. questions any questions on that uh please continue to shop local it helps us out so to include when you shop online if you don't know that already continue to do so um all right so we're gonna move into uh, your superintendent's report mm -hmm. all right you're up again okay um to begin with welcome everyone happy valentine's thank you for coming out tonight it gives me great honor for our first recognition in our report is to talk a little bit about February. We know that February is representative of Black History Month. And last year we had the opportunity to recognize one of our local citizens and the contributions that they've done in our community. So we want to stay with that um, in terms of the history for um, our, our Chattahoochee County for Casita. And tonight I would like to recognize um, Ms. Dolores Baker. We are just so honored to have her with us and um, we are going to promote this on social media after this evening but i just want to read a little bit about her bio as we go forward um, miss dolores has been a resident of chattahoochee county most of her life she has served our school system and our community she has worked in our school system for over 34 years she worked as a secretary a lunchroom bookkeeper accounts payable at the board office um, the Chattahoochee daycare she worked with communications there and after she completed uh, multiple degrees including her business certificate her bachelor's from Troy University um, also at University of Georgia the school fiscal office are concerned because of the leadership of Ms. Dolores not only has she served our school system but she continues to serve our community she's worked um, as a volunteer and a board member on family connections the Chattahoochee County Health Board, the Volunteer Income Tax Preparation Assistance to help folks with their taxes. She's volunteered at the Rec Department as a community softball coach and also many other organizations across the community. She's worked with New Horizons as they help to look at uh, rural housing, especially in our area and helping our families in need. She has j donated such a significant amount of her time to make us better. And Ms. Dolores um, is a member of Kingsville Baptist Church.
we want to honor this evening. Thank you, Mr. Loris, and thank you for making us better every day. The next on the superintendent's report is um, a memorandum of understanding with Georgia Southwestern University. And so, as many of you may be aware, our nation is in a crisis in terms of recruiting and retaining highly qualified, highly skilled teachers. And we are so proud and excited to announce that we are going to partner with Georgia Southwestern University so that their college students in their senior year can partner with us as interns. Nice. So not only is it helping broaden the um, knowledge of Chattahoochee County Schools, but it's allowing students who are in their senior year at college to find a fit here, work with some of our highly skilled teachers, and um, help reduce our class size and help get them acclimated. As many of you know, uh, in college you have to student teach anyway. Yep. What we're excited about is those student teachers would be actually here as a full year intern, getting their college credit, doing their student teaching, and being ready for a job straight with us. So um, we are very excited. We have a group of high school juniors and seniors who will be going to Georgia Southwestern as we also want to promote our own students for the teaching profession. And we hope to see those students back very soon as our interns and then as our teachers. So this is all about growing our own and building for the future. So we're very excited about this next step with Georgia Southwestern. Nice. Um, and then the last thing on the report is just a reminder, February 25th is our whole board governance training. So this is our annual required training and you'll see it as a called meeting for Saturday, February 25th. 9 a.m. It is open to the public if anyone wants to come to board training <coughs> on a Saturday. Super awesome. <laughs> All right, um, we're gonna move on then uh, to uh, give the floor to Miss Heard there and uh, go with our the, the super exciting part of why we're here, which is to recognize our students and, and staff for their accomplishments this month and we're grateful for that. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you. All right, we will begin with our students of the month at the Chattahoochee County Education Center for the month of January. And I am going to start with our youngest student of the month in pre-K, Gabriella Reyes. <laughs> no? Okay. Well, I tell you what, because it seems like we're two for two with siblings. So how about we help your brother come forward, who is our kindergarten student of the month. All right, Chris and Gabriella, come on forward. Perfect. <laughs> okay. And I will share what both their teachers had to say about them. Um, Gabriella's teachers, Ms. Richards says, being proud of Gabriella is an understatement. She entered my classroom in August saying less than 10 words and had little participation throughout the day. Now Gabriella is participating, she is engaged, and she is showing growth in all areas. She can write and spell her name without support. She can identify 18 letters of the alphabet, and her vocabulary has increased tremendously. Gabriella is a star that is shining so brightly in pre-K. 
Congratulations, Gary. Yeah, yeah. Let's come back and get your, your medal. <laughs> and her big brother, Chris, in kindergarten, who is our student of the month. Chris, his teachers have this to say. Chris is always working hard and tries his very best. Chris loves to help others. He's always <laughs> showing his panther paws. He, we are so very proud of his hard work and growth this year. He is such a sweet, well-behaved young man. Congratulations, Chris. <laughs> and next, our first grade student of the month is <laughs> Mackenzie Boat Huff. And I don't think Mackenzie is with us tonight, so we'll go on to our second grade student of the month, Elise Caradine. And Elise is not with us, so we'll go on to our third grade student of the month, Miss Bailey Ivory, who is here in present. <laughs> and Bailey's teachers have this to say about her. Bailey is a hard worker in school. She makes sure she completes all assignments on time while putting her maximum effort into every assignment. She recognizes her weaknesses and looks for ways to improve. She is a kind person who treats her peers and teachers with respect. Since the beginning of third grade, I have watched Bailey grow from being quiet and sometimes unsure to becoming confident and a leader. We are so proud to acknowledge her as our student of the month. Congratulations, Bailey. Our fourth grade student of the month is Blake Beasley. And Blake is not with us tonight, so I'll go on to our fifth grade student of the month, McKenna Gasper. And McKenna is not with us either. And it is Valentine's Day, so we're going to say they're out celebrating. Yep. <laughs> um, and last but certainly not least, our employee of the month, who is not with us tonight because ball is life right now for her family. But I want to recognize Miss Kayla Johnson, who is our early intervention specialist as our employee of the month. <laughs> You're up. Okay. Good evening, everybody. Evening. Before I get started, I do need to say a little something about Miss Baker because she, over the years, has always been one of my go-to people when I need something done. Um, she's also got a rare quality that um, my grandmother had, but she can tighten you up and do it with a loving smile. That's a, that's a, that, that is a great attribute. I wanted to share one quick story. Uh, many years ago, um, we had a family that, that wanted to move down here because uh, this mother wanted her son to attend our school. We were having a, they were having a hard time finding a place to stay. And so, I, like I said, Miss Baker can get things done. So I called Miss Baker up and I was kind of trying to lay it all out there for her and she just kind of cut me off and said, Coach, I got two questions for you. A, is he a good boy? Yes, ma'am, he's a good boy. She said, two, is he good? Meaning, is he a good football player? I said, yes, ma'am, good football and basketball. And she said, all right, we, I got you. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so you need people like that. So, Ms. Baker, I truly, truly appreciate you. All right. Um, for, our, for the middle high schools, staff member of the month is someone who you cannot spend any time around her and not leave with a smile. She is just an amazing person, brings so much to our school in so many ways, incredibly talented, incredibly loving. Um, Miss Nieves, our Spanish teacher. Come on, Miss Nieves. Miss Nieves, Nieves. Nieves is one of those people that you, you don't cross paths with people like this too many times. Mm -hmm. It just is truly a great person. So Miss Nieves, we really, really appreciate you. Our sixth grade student of the month is Connor Camp. He's at, uh, baseball game. Oh yeah, baseball game. Mm -hmm. 
Our seventh grade student of the month is Kennedy Kaplan. <laughs> Kennedy's teachers say that she is an amazing student. She has shown growth on her map in math and ELA. Kennedy is, is kind to her classmates and staff. She's always on task. She goes above and beyond on classroom assignments. And we are happy to have Kennedy as a Chanco, as a Chanco Panther. Congrats, Kennedy. Our eighth grade student of the month is Brendan King. <laughs> Brendan's teacher nominated him for his quiet maturity. Let me just stop you. Mid quiet maturity in middle school is incredibly <laughs> rare, so I'm gonna thank you for that. <laughs> and and um, ability to be a role model for his peers. He was observed being extra kind to a struggling student in class and that is what sparked Brendan's nomination for Student of the Month. Keep up the great work, Brendan. We are all proud of you. <laughs> Our ninth grade Student of the Month is Joshua Brinkley. <laughs> Joshua's teacher nominated him for exhibiting both growth and kindness. Joshua has attended Chattahoochee County Schools over his educational career. And one teacher noted that he has grown into such a respectful and thoughtful young man. We are proud of all you have accomplished and proud to call you a Panther. <laughs> Our 10th grade student of the month is Evelyn Connor. <laughs> Evelyn is a student that has transitioned from a full-time virtual setting to an in-person learner and has made it look easy which is not easy, by the way, that we've had a lot of kids struggle with that. Evelyn is studious, participates 100% of, of class, and completes her homework in a timely manner. She is, a thought, she is thoughtful of others and a model, and as, let me start over. She is, a thought, she is thoughtful of others and models a Chad Cook Panther, who will be college ready and is growing to be a productive contributor in society. Congratulations. Our 11th grade student of the month is Matthew Shields. If you've had the pleasure of watching any of our broadcasts that we've done over the last few years, Matthew has been a star in many of those. He's incredibly talented. Um, he, he's, he's a student that really, he got to Chattahoochee County and he was kind of quiet and in a matter of, after Mr. Woodward um, had him for about six months, he just blossomed into an amazing student and really is, is helping to um, have a major impact on making our school the kind of school we want it to be. Yeah, for sure. Thank you, Matthew. Our <laughs> um, 12th grade student of the month is Gavin Miznon. <laughs> Gavin is an extremely gifted student and was nominated for his efforts in branching out this school year to become a school leader. He manages school-based projects for the CTAE Business Department and FBLA all while maintaining an excellent GPA and remaining active in dual enrollment courses. Thank you, Gavin. <laughs> Just want to say thanks to everybody and one more time, Inspector, we really appreciate you. Thank you. <clears throat> all right, that brings us to the point where we're gonna take a break. Actually, for those of you that had kids that ran up here and then immediately ran back before you could get pictures, that's why we're taking a break. So please take advantage of the backdrop, have your kids come up with their plaques, take some pictures, and then we'll go back into um, our action agenda items. You're more than welcome to stay for that. However, you don't have to if you don't want to. So we're not gonna force you to stay. So you get, it's, the floor is yours, you got the next five, six minutes, get those pictures, please. <coughs>
I'm just going to open it up. Sorry, my, I'm bad. I'm behind the power curve on here. Um, do we have any questions on it? Are we good to um, bring this and 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 propose the uh, acceptance as written? All right. Do I have a, Do I have a motion, Shirley? Is that you? That's my girl. That's my girl. Dang it. All right, Shirley. Um, do I have a second, Shanae? All right. And all in favor? All right. That passes as written. Uh, school year calendar. Mm -hmm. Any questions on this one for the FY24? Mm -hmm. Teachers, it, there's all We could start with the teacher and employee yeah. advisory, then we do a student advisory, and then those teacher on my advisory panel take it back to their schools for the leadership teams. Yeah. So this is what we've got come up with. Any questions, concerns on what's written, as written? All right, we're good to adopt this. Any, any the motion, please, for that? Anyone? I'll make the motion. Thank you, Laura. Second? Yeah, all in favor? Okay, thank you. All right, next one. Wayne Connection. Yep, Wayne Connection bid. This is just to renew our current contract. Okay. Let me just go to the second one here real quickly. And the E-Rady Val. And they said for another year? Or yeah, just yeah. A, a year is what we're pushing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Any questions on this for the fiber renewal? Uh, no, I appreciate the major. Yeah, it continues to, it will stay with AT&T and it's just a yearly renewal using E-rate. Okay. All right, and motion to accept. I'll make the motion. Laura. I'll second. There that we go, the Teresa reason. at the end, I like it. All in favor? Motion carries. <clears throat> All right. Last one is our out of state travel request. Mm -hmm. um, this must be outside this is our. Big. I'd say this must be outside our approved 50 miles where it we don't is. have to keep doing these. Daytona, Florida. Okay. All right, I'm excited. Yeah. All right. Nationals for JRTC. <clears throat> They've been invited to nationals again. Ooh, two times, man. I love it. Three. Uh, three. Is this, this is our third, third year? Now. Gosh dang, that's yeah. fantastic. That's all right. Um, do I have a motion to uh, authorize this out of state travel as uh, requested? Shanae, got it. Second. Second. Teresa, Shanae, and Teresa. All in favor? All righty, that passes. Um, let's see. All right. I don't have anybody on the docket to uh, produ uh, participate in our public forum. Um, so. Hold this on. Is Shirley, let's close this thing out. Yeah, there we go. That's what I wanted to hear. All right. Do I have a motion to adjourn? That's my girl Shirley. Thank you. A second on that. Teresa on the end. All in favor? All right. Meeting adjourned. Thank you all for your participation. Uh, good job. Thank Laura. you. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you. Yeah, you guys have a great night. Thanks for working.